In this video, we will discuss the problem help a thief. The problem says that you have to help a thief to steal as many gold coins as possible. So you have to steal as many gold coins as possible, right? You have to steal as many gold coins as possible, as much as gold coins as possible, right? So this is something that you have to consider. Like you have to steal as many gold coins as possible. Let's read the problem statement further. So it says that there are total, uh, like he saw n gold boxes, right? And each gold box, uh, like each gold box consists of AI number of plates, okay? So you can say that IF gold box, in the IF gold box, right? You can say that in the IF gold box, what is happening? In the IF gold box, there is AI number of plates, right? AI number of gold plates, you can say. You can say that in the IF gold box, uh, there is AI number of plates and each place consists of uh, BI number of, you can say that uh, each, like there is AI number of plates and each plate, right? Each plate. Each plate consists of in this consists of bi number of gold coins. Okay, bi number of gold coins. Right. So this is what is happening, and you can your task is to print the maximum number of gold coins that you can uh, that you can thief. Uh, right. That you can store steal. So if you will see, like the gold coins are there. Right. For every plate. Right. If for every gold box, uh, like there is a there is a plate. Okay. And in that plate, in each plate, there is bi number of gold coins. So I can I can say let let's uh, have a look at the sample test case. So if suppose n is given as three and we have been given one two three uh, as the array a right we have been given a as one two three and we have been given b as nothing but three two and one okay. So you can see like what is happening if we have like for if for if we have one plate right. So I'm telling you about the plates and this thing. So let's say we consider this uh, relation of plates and all. So first of all let's let's say we write it. Let's say we write the plate. And we write the gold coins okay we write the plate and we write the number of gold coins so what i can easily observe is if uh, like i have like one plate here and with respect to it it has three gold coins uh, if i have two gold plates so it has two gold coins here and if i have three uh, three plates so i have one gold coin in this plate right so if i want to maximize right if i want to maximize the gold coins that i want to take right i want to maximize this value i want to make this value as large as possible so i'll be taking nothing but the the plates with the maximum number of gold coins right i'll be taking those plates which are having the maximum number of gold coins and it is saying that i am allowed to take t number of uh, like t number of plates right it, it is saying that i can maximum steal t plates so i'll steal from those plates i'll steal i have to steal like maximum i can take t plates with me right and in those t plates the number of total number of golds that i'll be taking that will be my answer so if i want to steal the maximum number of gold coins so I'll steal from those gold plates which are having the maximum number of gold coins, right? So let's uh, let's try it and stimulate this question. So first of all, let's say that what I have is in this part what I have is suppose that like t value has given given to me as three, right? If t value has been given to me as three, so first of all I'll try to steal from where? I'll try to steal from where, right? Uh, so like for the ith type, I can say that uh, first of all I'll try to steal from this, right? I'll try to steal from the gold like this plate that is having three gold coins, right? So first of all, I will steal it. The moment I steal it, so it counts become nothing but it counts become nothing but zero. Then what happens? I cannot steal from it any further. Then I will steal from this plate, right? Because it, it is this plate is having two gold coins, right? Every plate here is having two gold coins. So if I take one of the plates, right? So now t becomes two. After that, what happens? I like after that, what happens? If I have taken it for one time, uh, like so it becomes one, right? After that, I can take it for one more time, okay? So like if I take it for one time, so it becomes two and this becomes one, right? Uh, the, if since I have taken two plates, so the number of plates that I can take more is one. Now this like this plate of uh, this plate of this type is containing two gold coins. It's just one left. I, I will take it now, and now I will take the sum as this, right? So now what it happens like uh, two three plus uh, two plus two that's nothing but seven. So that is how I'm getting the answer for this, right? Let's try and have a look at the next test case. So if you have a look at the next test case, so if the t value is zero, if I'm not having anything uh, like if I'm not if I'm not able to pick any plate, so in that case the answer would be zero for this case, right? And that is what we have to do. So basically, you can think of like what will I do? So I'll use a priority queue here. Okay, I'll use the concept of nothing but a priority queue. Right? I'll use the concept of a priority queue, or you can say a maxi, in which what I will be storing is I'll be storing a pair. Right? In this priority queue, I'll be storing a pair. Okay, I'll be storing a pair in this priority queue. And what like according to which value do like I'll have a maxi basically. Right? Uh, since I'm using a priority queue, so I'll use a maxi. So that will tell me always about the gold mine that is having the like it will tell me about the plate 
that is having the maximum number of gold coins right maximum number of gold coins like which whichever plate is having the maximum number of gold coins that i want to take so i'll make a pair of bi comma uh, comma ai because what i want always is i want the plate uh, i want the uh, i want the plate i want that plate which has maximum number of gold coins always right i want to take that plate so that is what i uh, that, that is what i will be concerned about so let's try and write the code one by one so that we can understand it better so what i will have is i'll make a max queue so like priority queue first of all i'll make a priority queue okay priority queue will consist of a pair because uh, like what i need is i need i need bi as well as ai right corresponding to it because if ai gets exhausted if the number of plates get exhausted then i cannot take that particular ith plate right so that's the thing now i'll i'll declare this priority queue once i have declared it so what i will what i will do is i'll push all the elements one by one all the elements so int i starts from zero i is lesser than n and then i plus plus is what i will do and what i will do is i'll say that priority queue dot push in this uh, priority queue i'll push uh, ai comma bi right i'll push bi comma ai because i want to so i want to sort this priority queue because i want to basically sort this priority queue like i want i want the top element of this priority queue to contain the uh, gold like to contain the plate which is having the maximum number of gold coins right so that is why i'll sort it in this manner now now once this priority key has been made so what i will what i will say is that i can mark my result as zero right basically i can say that this will be the case but before that i need to take care of an edge case as well that if it happens that t is equal equal to zero if there is uh, no plate that i can take so in that case i need to return zero because the answer will be zero because I, if i am not able to take any gold plate so the number of gold coins that i'll be taking will be nothing but zero then what i will do is i will say that while uh, t is greater than zero right if the t value is greater than zero if the number of plates that i can take is greater than zero and the priority queue dot size and the priority queue dot size is greater than zero so if i if i have some plates remaining okay if i have some plates remaining uh, like if i if i if i can afford to take some plates right if i have can afford to take some plates and the and the like and the and the plates and the coin relationship that has been given to me if i have some plates remaining and i can afford to take those plates in that case i will i will say that like i will say what i will say that let's say mark the first, let's mark the first value so first value will be nothing but what gold coins right first value is nothing but gold coins okay gold coins uh, the current gold coin will be what current gold coin will be nothing but pq dot top dot first right i'll take out this thing so pq dot top dot first will tell me about the number of gold coins in this particular plate and apart from this i need to have what i need to have this thing right i need to i need to know the number like the number of plates right so you can say number of plates number of plates or uh, like the number of plates uh, which is containing this much number of gold coins so the number of plates remaining are nothing but pq dot top dot second right so i will i will have it okay and then once i have like once i have the access to the number of uh, number of plates right number of plates and the gold coins corresponding to it so what i will say is i will say that i need to take this until and unless like i will take this like till the time i can take it so if the t value is greater than zero right i will say that if the t value here is greater than zero if i can afford to take this plate and it happens and it happens that the number of plates right the number of plates uh, containing this much number of gold coins if it is greater than zero right if if the number of plates uh, containing this much number of gold coins if i can take it so in that case what i will say is that if i will say that result plus is equal to nothing but in that case i'll add this much number of uh, gold coins uh, if i am taking the current plate so i'll add this much number of gold coins to my answer and since i have taken one plate so i'll say that now i can take i will take one plate less and since i have taken the current plate so that means the number of uh, gold uh, number of number of plates right that means that the number of plates uh, minus minus is something that i'll be doing because the number of plates containing the current number of gold coins will decrease by one okay and once i am done with this part so what i will say is that after after i have done this so basically like after i have done this so basically i can pop it out of the queue so i can say that pq dot pop right so this is something that i can always keep on doing and in the end i will say that my answer would be calculated so i can simply afford to return nothing but the result here right i can return the result let us try and compile this code to see if there is any error so you can see that we are getting the same output 7 now let us try and summarize this code as well So our solution was able to pass all the test cases. And talking about the time com complexity of this particular approach, so if we talk about the time complexity, time so the time complexity will be nothing but order of n log n because uh, because what is happening? Uh, the it takes log n time for sorting in the priority queue, okay? 
and there are n total elements and the space complexity in this approach will be order of n because we are using a extra priority queue for storing all the pairs. Thank you for watching this video.